Understanding the Forex Market Basics and Terminology The Forex Market, also known as the Foreign Exchange Market, is a decentralized global market where currencies are traded. Understanding the basics of the Forex Market and the terminology associated with it is essential for beginners who wish to navigate and participate in this dynamic financial market effectively. Structure of the Forex Market The Forex Market operates on a decentralized basis meaning that there is no central exchange or physical location where trading takes place. Instead, trading occurs electronically over the counter through a network of participants, including banks, financial institutions, corporations, governments, and individual traders. The market is open 24 hours a day, 5 days a week, allowing participants from around the world to engage in trading activities at any time. The major forex trading centers are located in different time zones including London, New York, Tokyo, and Sydney, which ensures that trading is continuous. Currency Pairs In the forex market, currencies are traded in pairs. Each currency pair consists of a base currency and a quote currency. The base currency is the first currency in the pair, and the quote currency is the second currency. For example, in the Euro-USD pair, the Euro is the base currency, and the US dollar is the quote currency. When trading a currency pair, the objective is to speculate on the exchange rate between the base currency and the quote currency. If a trader believes that the base currency will strengthen against the quote currency, they would buy the currency pair. Conversely, if they believe that the base currency will weaken, they would sell the currency pair. Currency Pair Notation Currency pairs are identified using three-letter codes. The first two letters represent the country code of the base currency, and the last letter represents the country code of the quote currency. For example, Euro USD, Euro US Dollar, GBP JPY, British Pound Japanese Yen, USD CAD, US Dollar Canadian Dollar. Currency pair prices are quoted as exchange rates, which represent the value of the quote currency required to purchase one unit of the base currency. For instance, an exchange rate of 1.2500 for Euro USD means that it takes 1.25 US dollars to buy one euro. Major, minor, and exotic currency pairs. Currency pairs are categorized into major, minor, and exotic pairs based on their liquidity and trading volume. Major currency pairs include the most actively traded pairs and involve major global currencies such as the US dollar, euro, British pound, Japanese yen, Swiss franc, Canadian dollar, and Australian dollar. Minor currency pairs, also known as cross-currency pairs, exclude the US dollar and involve combinations of major currencies. Examples include Euro GBP, GBP JPY, and Australian Dollar Canadian Dollar. Exotic currency pairs involve one major currency and one currency from an emerging or less frequently traded economy. These pairs often have lower liquidity and higher spreads, making them more volatile and less popular among traders. Bid and Ask Prices In Forex trading, two prices are quoted for each currency pair, the bid price and the ask price. The bid price represents the price at which market participants are willing to buy the base currency, while the ask price represents the price at which they are willing to sell the base currency. The difference between the bid and ask prices is called the spread. The spread is the transaction cost for entering a trade and is usually expressed in pips, which is the smallest unit of price movement in Forex. The tighter the spread, the more favorable it is for traders. Pip and Lot Size Pips are used to measure the change in price for currency pairs. In most currency pairs, the fourth decimal place represents one pip. However, some currency pairs, such as the Japanese yen pairs, are quoted to two decimal places, where the second decimal place represents one pip. Lot size refers to the volume or quantity of a currency pair that is traded. Standard lot size in forex trading is 100,000 units of the base currency. However, there are also mini lots, 10,000 units, and micro lots, 1,000 units, available for smaller trading sizes. Long and short positions. In forex trading, traders can take either a long position or a short position. Long position. When a trader takes a long position, it means they are buying the base currency and selling the quote currency, expecting the base currency to appreciate in value. Short position. When a trader takes a short position, it means they are selling the base currency and buying the quote currency, expecting the base currency to depreciate in value. Leverage and margin. Leverage allows traders to control larger positions in the market with a smaller amount of capital. It is expressed as a ratio, such as 50 to 1 or 100 to 1. For example, with a leverage of 100 to 1, a trader can control a position of $100,000 with only $1,000 of their own capital. However, it's important to note that while leverage magnifies potential profits, it also amplifies potential losses. 
margin refers to the amount of funds required to open and maintain a leverage position. It is a percentage of the total position size and serves as a security deposit or collateral for the leverage trade. Margin requirements vary depending on the broker and the leverage chosen. Conclusion Understanding the basics and terminology of the Forex market is essential for beginners. Familiarizing oneself with currency pairs, bid and ask prices, spreads, pips, lot sizes, long and short positions, leverage, and margin allows individuals to grasp the fundamental concepts of Forex trading. With this knowledge, beginners can better navigate the Forex market and make informed trading decisions. Get connected now with other traders on SureFireTrading.com. Follow the link below the video and be part of the community.